Hello everyone, welcome back. So today let me share a easy way out to make milk bread and uh, of course those who doesn't have a bread tin, they can also make this and I'll be showing in this video how to do this in a simple cake tin because when I was a beginner in baking, especially in bread baking, I was like where should I bake my uh, breads because I don't, didn't have that time, I didn't have a bread tin and uh, I used to bake it in a cake tin, in a round cake tin. So this video I'll be showing how I did it. It's just the same way you do it in a, a bread tin. It doesn't make any difference. Yes, bread, the taste of the bread will depend on what other ingredients you are using and how much time you are needing. So it's up to the process. It's not up to the tin where you are baking the bread. So for the instructions and the process, do follow the captions. I have written everything in details in the captions and in case you have any doubt, don't forget to write to me in the comment section. I'll be really happy to share. So coming back to the process, the milk uh, I have taken uh, maida and added uh, one and a half teaspoon of uh, salt. Then uh, I have used the, in this uh, recipe, I'm using active dry yeast. So using that, uh, after that, I'll be kneading it the same way. Okay, now for this, I am using milk, lukewarm milk, but uh, those who are allergic to milk, uh, so they can lactic, lactose uh, tolerant, if they have any problem with that, then they can definitely go for the normal uh, water. So now, once you, ask, once you start kneading, uh, make sure you knead it properly and uh, the proofing time, the bread, the, um, how the bread will turn good is all what is dependent on the proofing time. So for uh, the first proofing, I have, I'll be doing it for around say 45 minutes to one hour or you can do it up until you get the volume doubled. So once the volume doubles and uh, the dough comes out nicely, comes along nicely, combines well, then you can start proofing it. So proofing, if you, if the weather is little uh, damp or say it's cloudy, then one trick you can use is you can always preheat the oven for say uh, the microwave for around say 10 minutes. Uh, then you can proof it inside the microwave. Of course, don't switch on the oven just after pro um, after uh, heating the oven you can proof it inside the microwave because the heat inside the microwave will help you uh, help with the atmospheric uh, humidity or the moisture which is uh, because of the clouds so see uh, my i am kneading this dough for around say 10 minutes now it has come along nicely it is soft you can check this in the video itself it is really soft now I'll keep it for proofing and then I will, uh, when, it, when it doubles out, I'll just separate this into two halves. One I'll bake it in a cake tin and the other half will in a bread tin. The outcome of both the breads will be the same. So you have to bake it for around, so now this way, this whatever you are seeing this, you are seeing in this video, I'm throwing this out, I'm punching it and I'm stretching the bread, uh, dough. So this is needed so that there are no air bubbles left inside the bread, inside the dough and it will make your bread super soft. So this is the best way to do. Just keep on, uh, <coughs> sorry, so keep on uh, uh, inflating it again and again and then roll it out into a smooth ball, cover it, keep it for proof, then again for the second proofing separate this into two halves and uh, then bake it in the oven in a preheated oven for around say 20 to 25 minutes at uh, 180 or in between 170 to 180 degrees Celsius. Now again I am repeating that every oven is different and the temperature might be different for every oven. So it's better you have a th oven thermometer to measure. And if you don't have, just check, keep checking after 25 minutes. If it's not done, you can always 
increase the time, raise the time for the baking. So that is it guys and I hope you will love this. You can have this with jam or jelly or butter. I love this with a teaspoon of butter and it can be used as sandwich too for making your sandwich. So now this is it. Hope you like my video and if you are really new to my channel, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Your support will really help me out a lot. So thank you for watching. I'll be waiting for your support and I'm, I'll, I'll be back with another very interesting and easy recipe. Thank you. Thank you and goodbye.